this front leg, this is the front side leg. I'm going to tilt that at five degrees towards the front at the bottom, which will put a five degree angle on the top there. So I've left that at 90 degrees. So when I tilt this forward five degrees, I'll get a five degree angle on the seat. But what that means is this piece here, this piece here is going to be tilted out five degrees. So I have to continue that five degree angle through here. So because I've got five here and I've added five here, I need to make that a 10 degree cut. So I'll just mark that roughly up here, 10 degrees, so I don't get it wrong. And the bottom of these legs, each of these legs needs a five degree cut there and a five degree cut there so it will sit flat on the ground. So I've laid out a few marks on my board here, just referencing off this bottom line and using my large um, protractor or variable angle finder. And I've got a five degree line there and a five degree line there. So this is my front leg. So if I place that in position there as it is. Now the distance from the front of the front leg to the back of the back leg is 410 millimeters. And that's what that line is there. Now I'm just going to extend this uh, five degree seat angle. I'm just gonna do it by eye. And if I run that down against that line for the back leg, what I can then do is line up my back leg. And basically make some marks where it needs to be cut. So I've cut those back legs now and I'll just put that in place on my marks again. Next thing I'm going to just measure a piece to go inside the um, the legs to strengthen them and then there'll be an infill piece here sitting above that so this will end, eventually end up flat. So what I'll do is um, just make a few marks here, 70 millimeters, from there and from there. Draw a line and Yep, and what I'll do is I'll cut two of those. Now that length is 420, close enough. So I'll cut two at 420 and then cut two five degree angles. Sorry, my mistake. The front angle on this brace is actually at 90 degrees and the back angle on this brace is 10 degrees. I've got the side panel in, in a mock-up with the two legs and that inside brace piece. Now they're all in position and what I'm going to do with that is I want to measure this infill piece here that will sit in there and make that um, nice and flush. Now the, the way I'm going to do that is basically just by um, tracing it onto this back piece and then using that to measure it out. And then that's just a matter of measuring that longest measurement, which is 265 millimeters. So I'll just make a mark of that. So 265 millimeters, and then on this end, I have to cut a five degree angle. And on this end, I have to actually cut a 15 degree angle. That's a uh, 15 degree cut because uh, the inside face of the leg was already five degrees difference to the outside uh, face of the leg so that was five degrees and then when we tilted the leg five degrees that added up ten degrees and then with the seat uh, angle the angle of the seat when we tilted the seat five degrees that added another five degrees so that actually ended up at 15 degrees so just always got to make sure I'm on track with all these angles okay so I've cut that infill piece now and that sits just inside there So I've already had my first failure of the project, just a stupid mistake. 
when I was gluing up the second leg, I was actually gluing it in the exact same orientation as the first leg, which meant I was going to end up with two legs for the same side of the chair rather than a right and a left. I tried to pull it apart, but um, this glue basically took up almost immediately and there's no way that was coming apart. I've got to recut those two pieces. For the front legs, I did something slightly different and it was a little bit more involved. So I cut the leg 40 mil uh, wider than what I needed on the front side of it. And then what I did is basically I um, hollowed out the core but I wanted to um, leave these two flaps here. So that's a 20 mil um, flap on the inside and that's it. that area there is a 40 mil um, extra flap. So what the uh, idea of that is, when it glues to the chair, sorry, to the side leg of the chair, that's been the side leg, I couldn't have relied just simply on a butt joint because that was uh, nowhere near gonna be strong enough. So I came up with the idea of um, doing it this way because I can glue, this flap will glue down on the inside of the leg. And once, that, once that's uh, still glued in there and there, this flap here will glue up onto the outside face of the side leg. And what that'll also do is once it's all finished, it'll have a nice smooth front. I just got this piece of scrap timber here and as you can see I've cut it just at a five degree angle and that's basically going to be my gluing guide. Well the chair's coming together pretty good so far, I've got the side pieces um, finished. Now the chair's sitting in place um, in its final size and that's just so I can measure these infill pieces here. So there's going to be an infill piece just here and another one at the back there and also another two inside brace pieces going all the way across to tie the whole thing together. So uh, I'll measure them up and get them cut and that'll finish the base. Well, that was a good fun little project, um, turned out pretty good actually. It was just a bit of a time filler while I was um, refurbishing the jointer and um, waiting for online parts to arrive, which always seems to take forever. It was a good time filler, like I said, and um, yeah, even though the kids thought I was crazy, at the same time they thought it was a pretty cool project.